welcome to another movie plot and enjoy the memories. It begins with an American national security agent recovering a computer chip from the terrorist organization called Anarchy 99. The leader Yorgi sends his little brother Kolya as well as his close friend and bodyguard Victor to chase the spy through a Ramstein concert. When he climbs on stage Yorgi orders his assassin Kirill to shoot the agent in the back which isn't noticed by the crowd who carry his body away. The criminals reacquire the computer chip which is revealed to be the code for constructing a Soviet-era bioweapon called Silent Night. Meanwhile at the NSA's underground facility in Virginia, Agent Augustus Gibbons suggests to other officials that they recruit a criminal to go undercover next time since Anarchy 99 are able to sniff out their training from a mile away. His first choice is a high-octane criminal wanted by the FBI named Xander Cage who's introduced when he steals a senator's car as a form of protest. He pulls over to have it fitted with cameras before leading a high-speed police chase over the senator wanting a ban on violent video games. At an upcoming bridge Xander's team have a trailer waiting for him to drive the convertible over the edge and base jump out of while catching the whole thing on camera. The car crashes while an undercover Tony Hawk pulls up in a caddy to recover the cameras and Xander before they escape the scene. That night Cage celebrates with a surprise party held by his friends where guest stars include the BMX rider Matt Hoffman. After a few drinks and a catfight almost breaks out over whatever the government comes smashing down the doors to tranquilize Xander. He wakes up alone at a diner where everyone seems nervous but all act like he's a customer who just walked in off the street. Two men attempt to rob the place but Xander casually walks over and disarms the undercover agents as he can tell it's a simulation. Gibbons has put it together to recruit him but gave themselves away by reading an old newspaper producing government-issued weapons and the dead giveaway of a waitress wearing high heels on a double. With that test complete the waitress shoots him with another trank and this time Xander wakes up in the back of a plane with two other finalists. They're violently airdropped into Colombia and expected to escape a cartel's plantation when they show up and take all three prisoners. Xander thinks that it's all just a fake scenario like at the diner but the cartel's torturer El Jefe has blood on his machete that smells awfully real. The three captives fight back until the American government raid the plantation giving them a distraction to escape. The boss retreats to his car but gets blown up inside, while one of the finalists takes off running with a bag shouting every man for themselves. Xander tries to rescue the other but he's injured and needs to be left behind until Cage can find a vehicle. His choice is obviously a motorbike and he goes on a tear around the place avoiding the helicopter and jumping the bike over multiple ready-made ramps. The final jump sees the entire compound blow up and Xander barely manages to avoid it as he power slides into a drain. When he gets back to collect the other finalists Xander's recaptured by Gibbons's men, who the next morning congratulate him on graduating top of the class. He gives Cage the mission of gaining entry into Anarchy 99 and locate the chemical weapons before the terrorist group can launch it on America. Being that he's already got two strikes against him Xander accepts the job after Gibbons says that his only other option is life in prison. They send Cage to meet the NSA support team in Prague, whose agent Sova's been tasked with supervising and if necessary deporting Xander if he gets out of order. That night while scouting an Anarchy 99 nightclub, Cage sneaks his way past security and engages Yorgi about purchasing some high-end sports cars. He points out Sova as an undercover officer getting him thrown out of the club and earning him favor with the gang, which is enhanced by Kolya revealing that he's a fan and has seen everything Xander's ever made. They talk business with Yorgi's girlfriend Yelena who gives Cage an account number to transfer the money to while they steal a bunch of cars. After a night of partying at the club where Xander ends up falling for the enemy. Gibbons calls Cage angry about diverting from the plan but is impressed when he receives the gang's private bank account numbers that Xander got from a drunk Kolya. He sends him to meet Agent Shavers who provides Xander with a high-tech revolver that comes with an array of custom bullets. A pair of binoculars that can see through walls or clothing and explosives disguised as bandage adhesives. Later on Cage attends the deal he made with Yorgi and transfers the money from Gibbons to receive 10 high-end cars including a Pontiac GTO. Sova attempts to spy on the operation and gives himself away in the loudest way possible, creating momentary tension with Yorgi who Xander convinces that the agent isn't with him. He does this by going out with Yorgi to hunt him down and when he's about to shoot him Xander intervenes using a dummy bullet to give the appearance that he's a killer. Having earned his trust Cage is accepted into Anarchy 99 and is taken back to the gang's headquarters at a castle in the mountains. While searching around for the chemical weapons he catches Yelena sneaking into Yorgi's hidden safe and confronts her on it. After a few failed attempts at pulling her gun and trying to lie her way out of it, she reveals that she's selling the gang's secrets to fund her escape. They go to a restaurant to discuss it further and he explains that he's a secret agent and that Sova was just shot with a paint dart but she doesn't believe him due to his appearance. During this time Sova betrays Cage revealing his true intention to Yorgi so he sends his assassin Kirill to take him out from the rooftop across the street. He calls Yelena to lure the traitor outside which proves to her Xander's identity as a US agent so she begs him for amnesty. 
she tells him that the castle has a secret laboratory beneath it and that Kirill's there to kill him, so Xander uses Yelena as a shield knowing that he would never harm her and begins to cause a riot. He takes a reflective serving tray to blind the sniper and escapes into the crowd by using it as a board to grind down a railing. Before he can get away, the NSA captures Cage and takes him to a meeting with Gibbons who demands that Xander returns to America since his cover's been blown. He argues for the girl's innocence but NSA has plans already to send special forces in to besiege the place and kill everybody. Worrying for Yelena's life Cage defies orders and sneaks into Yorgi's castle by scaling the cliff and taking out guards along the way. He plants explosives on all the gang's vehicles and follows Yorgi into the underground lab, where the villain reveals a group of kidnapped scientists and their secret operation to Yelena for the first time. Cage uses his binoculars to peer inside where Yorgi explains his plan to launch the chemical weapon from a submarine drone called Ahab. When the construction of the vehicle is completed and the scientists celebrate, members of Anarchy 99 seal the entire room off and test the weapon's capabilities on the workers. Yelena watches on in horror as the chemicals kill everyone, before being vented through water returning it to a completely harmless state giving it the nickname Silent Night. In the tunnels guards discover Cage clinging to the ceiling and set off the alarm so he flees the area. Kolya gets ordered to kill his hero but as Xander takes a bike without the explosives the Russian unknowingly takes one prime to blow. He chases him out of the castle where they both hit the drawbridge like a ramp to leap over the guarded front gate, but Cage sets off the explosive as Kolya is flying through the air killing him and destroying all of the vehicles in the courtyard. The agent rides back to his hideout but finds Sova waiting for him having defected from his government job and now's in Yorgi's employment. Suddenly bullets fly through the door killing Sova as Yelena enters and reveals herself to be an undercover Russian agent all along. She's been in Anarchy 99 for two years but a year ago was abandoned by her handlers and stopped receiving orders. Cage relays Yorgi's plans to the NSA but Gibbons still orders him to return home and can't offer Yelena any asylum. Against orders and despite Yorgi having a small army, Cage decides to stick around and try to prevent a war since he's risked his life for much stupider reasons. He gives his car to Shavers and tells him to load it up with weaponry before getting his handlers together to devise a plan. They decide to fly over the gang's communication tower north of the castle and cage paratroops from a plane on a snowboard to draw out Victor. He takes a large group of anarchists but Cage causes an avalanche that wipes them all out except for Victor initially, who like Xander outruns it back to the comm tower but doesn't get enough height and is crushed inside. Surviving on the antenna, Xander still gets caught when more of Yorgi's men arrive on snowplows to take him back to their boss. He says that he always knew Yelena was an undercover agent which is why he never revealed to her too much information. Anarchy 99's plans to launch Silent Night at any random city and watch the world tear itself apart trying to figure out who's responsible. When the villain finishes his monologue and prepares to kill Xander, an explosion goes off as the NSA raid the castle after having an easy ambush with the gang's communications down. Yelena frees Xander from his restraints while Yorgi flees into the underground to launch Ahab and leaves behind his last henchman Kirill to protect him. The sniper waits in a perch shooting anybody who approaches while Yorgi programs Ahab to travel to the nearby Prague where he intends to set off the bomb. Pinned down and knowing that Kirill's always smoking, Xander uses a heat-seeking missile to kill the final henchman and the agents arrive to find Yorgi escaping on a boat. All these trained marksmen firing and it's Cage who manages to shoot the terrorist causing an injured Yorgi to crash into the upcoming cliff. Needing a way to catch up with Ahab, Xander and Yelena take the GTO that's now outfitted by Shavers with all of the bells and whistles he promised. They race alongside the river and Ahab but Yelena goes through the manual to find none of the bells and whistles are actually helpful. Meanwhile Gibbons orders an airstrike on Ahab which will still release the chemical killing some of the population but prevent it from reaching the city. Needing to disable the bomb manually Cage harpoons the drone and uses a parachute to zipline down to it before it goes under a bridge. Before he can do anything the vehicle deploys three rockets ready to fire the chemical as it travels further up river towards the city. With the Air Force quickly approaching Xander directs the primary rocket into Ahab itself and disables the autopilot sending it plummeting underwater. It goes off destroying the rest of the rockets and the water neutralizes Silent Night just like Yorgi demonstrated. Agent Gibbons arrives to meet Ilana for the first time and they both think Xander died in the explosion until hearing him cough up water below the bridge. Agent Triple X recovers and the final scene shows him and Yelena relaxing in Bora Bora after Gibbons followed through on his promise. Needing the best agent for a new mission, he still contacts Xander to offer him the job but he just ignores the call to go swimming. And the movie ends.